The Import To feature in the CNHI colour display allows us to import and convert several different file types for use in the display. Two of these file types are Trimble's AG GPS and DEER's RCD folder types. On the USB drive that contains the John Deere data, in the root directory you will see a folder with the name of the display type that it was exported from. Regardless of the display type it came from, that folder will contain another folder called RCD. You can insert this USB stick into our display and it will locate this RCD folder. When importing Trimble data, our display will be looking for a folder called AgGPS in the USB's root directory. All earlier displays including EasyGuide 250, 500, FM750, FM1000 and FM1000 Plus apps will export this data type. Once you have the Trimble or Deer data on a USB drive, remove the display's existing USB, insert this one, then turn the power on. Within a short period of time, a message will appear on the display confirming this third-party data has been imported into its memory. This is a data dump folder where it will be still in its original format and we won't be able to use it until we use the Import To screen to select what data we want to convert and import into the precision farming software. The Import To screen can be found in the Data Management screens, or we can also access it by pressing the Import To soft key in this message. At the top of the Import To screen in the Source window, you will see a Help soft key. This will bring up a Help menu with the different types of third-party data that we can import. As you can see here, selecting non-Pro 701 or non-IntelliView 1 will give you information on how it is used to import Trimble data. And non-Pro 702 or non-IntelliView 2 will give you information on how it is used to import John Deere data. In the source window, you can choose either type, depending upon what type of data you are importing. In this case, we were importing data from a 2630 Deere display. A confirmation message will appear to confirm the source of data that you want to import. We then have to select the type of data we want to import. For competitive guidance lines, we only support straight AB line imports. Lines that are created as A plus heading lines will also come in as AB lines, but their accuracy isn't supported due to the way that one of these data types stores its AB lines. The grower, farm and field structure will automatically populate with all. If you want to bring in all of the data that was on the USB drive, you can press the import soft key at the top corner of the screen. If you want to only import some fields or even individual lines, then you can filter down what you need. With the data you want to import selected, you can now press the import soft key. A message will then appear asking you to confirm if you want to import this data. Press the import soft key to confirm. Once the import and file conversion process is completed, an import complete message will appear showing how many AB lines were actually imported. This message will also remind us to go to the SWAF source screen to confirm or change the SWAF generation method. Press the right arrow to scroll through to the additional screens. In the SWATH source update screen, if we leave it as all, it will update all the SWATHs in our display. If you don't want to update all your SWATHs and have them all generated as the same type, then you can filter down to what you have just imported. Pressing the source type info soft key will give us info on the three different SWATH generation modes we have available either CNH, Trimble or Deer. Each source type will not only create slightly different AB lines, but will also determine how subsequent swaths are generated and spaced as well. In this case, we're going to create a John Deere line. Once all the windows have been populated, you can press update to update the source type. A message will appear to confirm the update. Press OK, then return back to the home page. 
to use this new line and confirm its generation type, go to the profile screen and select the grower farm and field that was just imported, then go to your guidance run screen. This AB line should be available to use in the swath select window. In the swath select window, you will also be able to view the swath info. This should confirm the swath generation mode assigned to the swath as well. Due to the fact that the original AB line was created with a different base station that may not have been surveyed in when it was set up, you may notice that this new line isn't where the original machine's wheel tracks are in the field. To correct this, simply drive the machine onto the wheel tracks and remark the line. In addition to being able to import third party guidance lines, we can also create a new line in the display, then assign a new swath generation type to it. Simply record a new AB line as normal. Then give it an easily identifiable name so we can find it later on. All new AB lines created in this display will always be a CNH type by default. To change the line type, we have to go to data management, then to the swath source update screen. Locate the swath you have just created with the correct grower farm and field names. You will notice that this new swath has its current generation type next to its name here. You can then choose a new swath type, then press update. When you are back in the run screen, the AB line should now show as non-CNH.